debt and business go together. And that's true for the government too. The government borrows, but they invest in things. They certainly invest in buildings and land, but they invest in the future. They invest in the future of their young people who are going to university. In Germany, you pay for everybody's college education. Why is that? Because that's where the future is. If you decide you want to pay back the debt, then you don't do that anymore, and then your young people are going to leave Germany because they don't have education opportunities. If the government borrows money and spends it unproductively, that gets you into big trouble. I think that's one of the things that's wrong with the global economy, that we're spending too much of our resources trying to repay debt when interest rates are so low. The fact that interest rates are so close to zero means that not only businesses, but also government should see this as a great opportunity to borrow and invest in any kind of a project that has positive value. And the fact that governments can't do this is very short-sighted, I think. Does the next generation really want to inherit a country that has let its roads fall apart and its bridges fall down, but has no debt? That's not what the next generation wants. The next generation wants to have a vibrant economy where the debt is more or less managed as a proportion of the output. If you are a businessman and you see an investment opportunity, you want to be able to borrow money to invest in this opportunity. If you don't see any business opportunities, then you don't need to borrow money. You can have no debt, but you have no business either. I think that you would find in looking across Europe that there are lots of places where government expenditures could actually make the whole private sector more productive whether it's building roads, fixing bridges. I mean, at least you have high-speed trains. We don't even have high-speed trains. But there are lots of projects that I think would have important present value. And I would also think that money could be well spent on helping Greece. Because I think that if Greece decides to exit the Euro system, that's going to be a big negative for the European Union. Europe is very important to the global economy. And I think that there is a lot of answers to that question. The European Union does not function very well as a team. They function as a lot of individual players on the team. And as we know from looking at sports, teams where individuals don't cooperate don't do very well. The European economy has been pretty stagnant since the financial crisis, and I think that that is partly because of the difficulty of cooperation with uh, the members, and it's also partly, I think, this push to pay off the debt.